So, this video is, was suggested by John Evans, one of our uh, VIP friends. You could also become a VIP friend or support us through Patreon by clicking the Patreon link. This time we're going to look at the run from Trent Falls down the River Humber to Hull Marina. You should arrive at Trent Falls on a falling tide. You drop your anchor and wait for the start of the next flood tide. Leaving Trent Falls, make sure you keep towards the southern bank following the channel. Keep away from Whitton Island. Whitton Island is most above uh, waterline but some isn't, some's hidden, some bars uh, are uh, just the same colour as the rest of the river. Keep to the main channel because outside of the main channel the river at this stage is extremely shallow. The channel markers are clear to see. On the run down, keep towards the southern bank and keep clear of Reeds Island. Most of this is submerged. Again, following the channel markers, this will take you out into the centre of the river underneath the central span of the Humber Bridge. Past Humber Bridge, South Holland Jetty is on the southern shore. Take a 45 degree angle across towards the northern shore. Navionics does not give you a good clear indication of depth. You need to look at the ABP Humber survey charts I'll put a link to this in the description. If you transpose the recommended route from uh, ABP Humber onto Navionics, it looks a bit like this. And you can see as you get beyond the Humber Bridge where Navionics comes into its own, and you can see the drying areas as you head into Hull Marina. Around uh, Reeds Island area, the centre of the Humber is again very shallow and at uh, low spring tides it will be very easy to touch and run aground here. The river at this point is very wide, so don't think because it's a river, it's, uh, it's narrow, it isn't, it is very wide. And you run along the north shore towards Hull Marina. Give our friendly lock keepers a call on channel 80 to request a, a pen in. You can access Hull Marina at three hours either side of high tide. Because you're leaving Trent on a rising tide, you will be punching the tide as you come down to Hull Marina. As you come through the basin, beware that uh, the basin shallows off onto your starboard side. Keep running straight centre towards the lock gates and you will be fine. Be aware that if, if there are other boats in the lock you need to prepare to uh, moor up in the lock on either side, on either port or starboard side. Once in the lock, the lock keeper will allocate you your berth. This will more than likely be on the visit to Pontoon, which is down at the far end of Hull Marina, close to the new footbridge. Do hope you enjoy your visit to Hull Marina. Coming down the River Humber from Trent or the Ouse is not difficult. You just need to take your time, be aware of the shallows, do your homework and enjoy the trip.